All right, so the next technique I want to talk about is called Yuanyang Jiao. Yuanyang Jiao means Mandarin duck kick, which in essence is just a toe kick to the opponent's groin, like so. The reason it's called Mandarin duck kick is because in Chinese culture, Mandarin ducks are paired together for life. So it's a representation of yin and yang, one male, one female. So just like the Mandarin ducks are paired together for life, the Mandarin duck kick is always paired together with something else. So it may be a hand technique, it may be a dodge, or it may just be retreating and closing the body. Okay, so as you can see in the technique, the first part is to shrink back and to close the hands. Okay, and then we kick. So what I'm doing here is I'm just parrying a punch. It doesn't matter whether which, which arm gets thrown, I can, I can parry from both sides and then hook, hook the kick down. And in fact, I, I don't even really need the parry because I'm dodging my head back. It's, you know, quite often it's enough anyway. And then the last part of the technique is just to step back, close the hands and straighten the body. So I'm preparing myself for another onslaught of attacks. In Taiji Mantis, the body is always rocking backwards and forwards. I'm always moving, moving my body, and my weight's changing from leg to leg. So pretty much any time my weight comes onto my back leg, my front leg is just ready to pop up and kick the groin, which is very difficult for the opponent to see. Now there's a variation to this, which is called Fan Yuan Yang Jiao, or Reverse Mandarin Duck Kick. Now this works any time my weight comes onto the front leg, particularly if I'm dodging to the side, like so, my leg just comes around and kicks to the groin from the other side. And this is very difficult to defend because if you look at the position, an opponent will often turn their knee in very slightly to, to um, defend against groin kicks, but this exactly comes around that. It's difficult to see. And, as I said with Mandarin duck kicks are always paired with something, we're often pairing it with a hand technique. So the opponent is ex is got all their attention on the upper body where I'm just using a reverse palm to their face, they forget about their groin. Okay, so, like so.